Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is our Game of Thrones Risk Season 1, Episode 6. Uh, we'll do a quick recap of Episode 5 and uh, then we'll jump right into the action. So huge, huge expansion from House Targaryen has conquered, pretty much has conquered all of Essos. Uh, Daenerys' forces are in Dothraki, Andalos, uh, the Disputed Lands, the Lands of Long Summer, and Slaver's Bay. Uh, she does not have all the continent fully uh, conquered, but it kind of represents sort of the way the, the season went, right? The way the, the, way the, the, the way the Game of Thrones series went, where she, she moved into each section. She has Marine, she has Dothraki, she has the Flatlands, uh, and then she's moved to Dragonstone as well, and she's unseated House Baratheon. So House Baratheon is in the lead, but now they are sort of, the pressure is on them now as they are um, diminishing a bit. So it's it looks like House uh, Targaryen and House uh, uh, Stark are the ones in power. So let's jump into turn six. Uh, guys, please like and subscribe below while we get get set up with uh, House Baratheons. Uh, they have eight victory points right now. So let's go ahead and see uh, their resources. So let's do their recruit army phase. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, territories plus 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 with the castles. So that gives them seven. So that's six and one. I mean, I'm going to have them redo their. Um, I'm just going to make this rule up. I'm just going to have them have their base for one of those characters will be in now it's in Knight's Landing. So let's have House Baratheon is in Knight's Landing, and then we'll have one in High Garden, and have one in Sunspear. So uh, let's have them put two in, uh, let's have one in Green Blood and one in Red Mountain so they can knock out Sandstone, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and give them um, 16 armies, I don't know if they can do that. They can try to do 16 armies in one turn, let's give them the chance to do that, and that would give them four points. So. Um, they also have ports one, two, three. One, two, three. Three ports only. So they get 300 coins, 300 gold. And let's have the. Let's have them play this card here the, um, the confusion in the ranks. Everyone has to discard. Uh, their master maester card so they'll pay that for 300 and then they'll reinstate uh, Jamie Lannister and they'll pay 200 for Jamie Lannister let's also check uh, oh no this is not house Baratheon this is house so let's let's have them uh, sorry have them play Davos for 200 sorry not Jamie Lannister Davos so they can add one to their attack, and and they can try to go for the 16. So that will be their, and this one they will keep for later. So let's go ahead and start doing our attacks. We're going to first do our attack from Red Mountains into Sandstone. So they can add plus one to all their attacks. So let's go ahead. Uh, so they get uh, six and three. Two out of sandstone. They get a five, set six, and three is tied, so six and three is one and one. So let's just keep that three on the board here. And when they have one more removed, just to keep track of for the 16. Uh, one more round. 
six and five, two of theirs. So they've already just defeated five. We'll break him up into these two. Okay, uh, let's have them go after Lannister too. So they will go um, to the Sea Road Marches and we'll have them roll. Lannister gets one. So six and two, they advance. Let's have them go to, so they're up to six out of 16. Let's have them go to uh, Craig Hall. The Lannisters can roll two here. Let's have the Lannisters do a defensive. Uh, they will use uh, Tywin Lannister as a defensive. The Lannisters can play Tywin Lannister and get their two gold out. And he will give them, add one to all of their defense rolls. So let's have them do that. So uh, they're in Craig Hall. It's six to, so it's seven to six and four to three. So they fail there, but that's okay. They, they, they will now use Tyrion Lannister in the game. Let's have Tyrion, uh, Tywin, sorry, Tywin try to save the day here. So let's have them go to Silverhall. Okay, six and three. This gets up to three. Uh, so that falls. And we will reduce these guys from, let's just take these three here and then move two and put this back. Oh, sorry, put this here. Okay, let's go to Stony Sept. Stony Sept. Four, this is becomes a five. So Lannister loses one. Thank, I mean, sorry, uh, Baratheon loses one. Thanks to Tywin Lannister's great general skills. Again, five and five. This becomes a six and six tied, which is for the, the defender. So this is like Tywin is in this battle. Uh, five and three becomes six and four. Again, loss for... Uh, loss for Baratheon. They don't seem to be able to fully conquer this. Uh, let's have them go uh, one more time to Stony Sept. We'll do one and one. And again, seven and four. Baratheon. So Lannisters hold, hold it down and Tywin Lannister defends. So that's going to do it for uh, Sir Davos also did a great job, but they weren't able to get the full 16 here. They have two, they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and they're going to call it quits here. Let's try, let's just try here. We're going to go just try to take back Storm's End with, uh, we'll try to take back Storm's End. And also, uh, we'll have. Barristan Selmy can re-roll defense dice, so uh, so uh, Targaryens will play Barristan Selmy, and let's have them go. So Storm's End from Tarth first. Uh, they can re-roll, and they miss, so they lose, and that's locked them in. So Daenerys loses there. Um, but they get one more, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we keep going? Let's try to take back um, Gulltown. So again, that's uh, Selmy can we roll six and six? The tie goes to us. One Baratheon. Again, six and three can we roll five? Not enough, so we lose. And Baratheon takes back Gulltown. But I feel like that's not enough for them to push. They're going to have to call it quits, and they did not make their challenge card. So let's progress on now to give them their card and 
uh, returns Davos face down and return Barristan Selmy face down. These two will be face up for Daenerys. They have to reset. So um, uh, also confusion in the ranks is discarded. And these coins go back into the bank. Okay, so let's have um, House Baratheon. I mean, sorry, House Targaryen. They will go from Dragonstone to Crackle Claw, Claw Point. Three and one. And they will play with... Uh, uh, first of all, let's do their reinforcements. Right, so... Uh, first of all, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 plus 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 is 6. So they get 6, and we will put them, these 6, as 3 dragons on Dragonstone. How's that look? The epic dragons on Dragonstone, right? Okay, so that will stay like that. Uh, they will also get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred points for um, their ports. And let's check out their cards here. They have quite a few cards. Um, we have this Westeros card here, and let's pull Daenerys and Jorah Mormont out. Uh, so they will put down for the two of them 500, and then let's check out what they have. I think she'll have more armies even. So yes, she has quite a few armies now. So uh, she has three towers she can cash in, and she will cash those in. Three towers gives her six more armies. So we will put these six armies in Kingswood. Okay. So she will go ahead and uh, those three come out. These get discarded. And she can keep these. Uh, she can also uh, buy an objective card for 200. So 200 goes into the bank for the objective card. And... This is the money of Lannister. Oh, sorry, Baratheon. And she has control seven castles for two. Uh, let's see. One, two. Okay. So we'll put that here. And let's move on to uh, keep her money here. And let's go into the combat. So... Uh, Dragonstone will attack Crackle Claw Point. Uh, she will get to replace two dice with her eight sided dice and she can roll. So um, she gets, oh, this is not one of them. Two and three, they're both defeated and she can advance. Uh, she will advance like this. Leave. Let's leave a dragon behind here like that. That's fine. She will also go uh, Crackle Claw Point attacking King's Landing. So she gets eight and five. Two of theirs. Again. She gets five and four, two of theirs. Again, she gets uh, four and three, one and one. Again, she gets seven and six, two of theirs. And last round, she gets two of hers gone. Again, she gets six and three, two of hers again. 
So she has to stop here. But she can attack from Kingswood now. Again. Seven and five. Two of theirs. So she has uh, taken King's Landing. And she will continue to go. Uh, she will go to the Mander. For one. Seven. She has to replace these three. So she is in the Mander now. She will go to High Garden. She will go to um, uh, she will go to she will stay in High Garden and she will stop there. And that will be the end of the turn. She can get her cards, two cards uh, for them, and both of these get turned over. For a denarius. Okay. And now the money goes into the bank. House Stark. Let's check out what they've got. Uh, uh, destroy eight armies in a single turn. Let's have them. Well, let's just count up the turns. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 plus 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. She get, he gets uh, divide by 3 is 8. Six, seven, eight. Uh, so let's plan these out well so we can um, let's put uh, how many territories do you have to eight opposing arm armies in a single turn so we'll put this here we'll put this one here uh, we'll put uh, this here as well Okay, so let's go eight armies in a single turn. Uh, also, wait, before I go, I want to also buy, how many ports do I have? One, two, uh, three, four, five. 500 more coins. I want to buy another objective card. Control five ports. I believe I have them. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so I already have this. So this one uh, can be resolved later, but I'm going to go for both of these with House Stark. Uh, we'll also pull out Rob Stark for the battle here. Uh, we can roll that. So it's another 300. So we'll put down that uh, 500 and get the change later. And uh, we'll throw Jon Snow in here as well. Jon Snow. I can make an extra maneuver. So the 100 and the 300, I just get 100 back. So let's go ahead and attack. I uh, just use the normal dice here. So first off, we will attack from the neck into Harlow. Only one dice for Lannister. F5 and 2, and we move in. How many do we have to do? Destroy eight opposing armies. Here's a one. Uh, next one is into Pike. Go into Pike. They can roll twice. Six and four. We plus one and plus one is six and six and five and four. One and one. One and one. Right, let's leave this here so we have one and one so we know. Keep track. Uh, one more time. We have five and four, two of theirs. So we've gotten four of the eight. Uh, next round, let's go to Rivers Run from uh, Herring Hall. Take one die out. Five and one. Let's just advance that one. Uh, let's do, so that's five. 
Let's go to Stony Step Sept from uh, Golden Tooth. Sony Sept to Golden Tooth. We get seven and six. We can move down. Now we're up to six. Let's grab. Uh, oh, there was another. I also did not take um, the two. Uh, sorry, the five armies for. Um, having the north so I've got the north as well so let's just put these here on Herring Hall as well okay and let's move um, well let's try to conserve uh, motion so let's try Casterly Rock to Crake Hall so just two and one and we lose that one but let's go from Stony Sept to Silver Hill and we get five and five, we lose that one as well. Let's go one more time. Five and two, we get it. This goes here. And now let's go from um, Herring Hall to Blackwater Rush. Four and two. Let's move this. We'll keep Herring Hall with dragon with the with the wolf on it. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Um, let's keep going to uh, Sea Road Marches. Three and two. And let's go to. Um, Craig Hall. Uh, let's do one more dice. Okay, we lose one. One more time. Six and two, one of theirs. So that's what they've lost. So we've got Craig Hall marches, the Mander. Uh, Let's use our two maneuvers so that we'll going to retreat back to Casterly. Uh, let's retreat back to Craig Hall, or maybe we retreat back one, two to um, Heron Hall. So we have wiped Lannister off the board. Uh, Lannister has been removed from play, and I believe we can get their booty here. So we control uh, eight, eight houses here. So this gives us two. So we can discard this and we take two, one, two. And then we also control five ports. And that will put House Stark into the victory condition. And so House Stark is the winner of Game of Thrones Risk. So. Wow, guys, I really like this. I kind of like this game. I, 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 you know, I'm already thinking of a mod though. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a mod to have the White Walkers? It's a shame that they made the, uh, they made House Stark white instead of gray because then you could have white zombie players. But maybe we could make them blue. They don't actually have. Maybe we could use the blue players, and instead of having them be the the slavers, we can use blue players as a mod for. The White Walkers coming into the north, and we just play in the in the board of of uh, Essos. I wonder if there's a mod out there. I'm gonna go on Board Game Geeks and check it out to see if someone's built that mod. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Uh, what did you guys think of playing Game of Thrones Risk? I really like it. I tell you the truth. I my, my expectations were very low for this game. I love the new mechanics. I think all of this stuff is very fun. I like how you can. You know, when you get into the spirit of playing the cards, you get that kind of feedback from the game where it's it's kind of like flavoring text. You know, it's fun to play Rob Stark. It's fun to play Ned Stark. Um, I noticed this is my first playthrough through this. So one thing I noticed is I wasn't as uh, adapting to defensive cards as I was to attacking cards. I got to it in the later turns. You know, so say, for example, I thought that this last round where Tywin Lannister was playing defensive against how Baratheon's attacks. It's very effective, these defensive cards. 
So I think that's very cool. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments below. I read the comments. Uh, uh, looking forward to doing another uh, another round of this. I think my next Game of Thrones one will be... I will do the Mother of Dragons uh, expansion for the Game of Thrones board game. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And check out our other videos. If you're interested in other Game of Thrones videos, we're doing them all this week. I mean, all this month. Also, check out our Conan uh, game. It's a little different than this, but if you're into um, Game of Thrones themed game, Conan is kind of similar sword and sorcery type type genre. So maybe check out those games. That would be fun. Uh, and also check out my miniature painting videos. So I don't think I'll, I can paint these, but you never know. I painted those Battlestar miniatures. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but let me show you my Battlestar miniatures quickly here. Totally out of context, but here's my hot off the press painting of the Battlestar miniatures. You can see my Vipers, the the new model Viper and the old model Vipers. Uh, so if you're into Battlestar Galactica, I've also got those gameplays. Cylon Base Stars. Right. So, yeah, so I like painting the miniatures as well. So, hey, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.